Hey, this is Flo, and in this video I'm showing you how to programmatically refresh your widget through your iOS app. If you like my type of content, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let's get right into it. So I've prepared here a very, very basic example. So this is just yeah, an out-of-the-box app with just a content view and a Hello World text, as you probably have seen it a thousand times. And then if I go to the home screen here, I also have a widget that just shows the current time from when it was created. So if we jump over into the widget definition here, the timeline provider is exactly the one that gets generated. Everything is exactly the same. I just changed the body a little bit. So we see also the minutes and the seconds of the date when the widget was created. Just so we can see in this video how the refreshing or reloading actually works. Okay, so we actually don't need this widget definition anymore. Let's get back into the content view. For simplicity, I will do everything inside of the view, inside of a button. But of course, you can extract this logic into a view model, a service class, or whatever it may be that you're using. So first thing that you need is importing widget kit. Inside of widget kit, there is one class called the widget center, which we can use to reload the timeline and to get information about all of the currently active widgets on the user's home screen. So to use that, let's replace this text here with a button and let's call this button reload widget, just like that. And then inside of the button's action, which is here in the closure, we can just say widget center, use the shared instance, and then as you can see, there's really not much to do here. So there are basically two functions that we can use. Reload all timelines, which as the name says, reloads all of the currently active timelines. For example, if you have different widgets that use different timelines, then all of them will get reloaded. Or you can reload a specific timeline using its kind string, which is this string over here that you pass into your widget configuration down here in the main widget. So back in the content view, we can just say reload all timelines when this button is pressed. So now let's run this app in the simulator and you will see how easy everything is. So if we exit out of the app, then you will see the current time the widget was initialized at yeah, 3.20.54 p.m. Now if we open the app and hit reload widget and go back to the home screen, then you can see the time updated. So the widget actually got reloaded. And what internally happens here is that your get timeline function of your timeline provider gets invoked again. So a new timeline is generated and is then obviously also displayed inside of the widget. Okay, that's it. If you enjoyed this quick video, please leave a like, comment down below if you have any other questions or video ideas, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.